doesn't get much better than this. Afternoon baseball from Wrigley Field in Chicago. Today it's the Madison Bumgarner is on the mound for the Cubs in this one. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, his batting average against this year is under 250. He's really had his way with the offense. Cameron Mabin is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning, 1-0. And now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon, 2-0 now. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. Chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Nugent on the move. And that's the first out of the inning. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Steve, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, I think what they need is a little bit more consistency from the middle of that order. They need production with runners in scoring position. Hit well on the ground to first. Taken in by Votto, and he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. And with a quick breather here, let's take a look at the Cubs' alignment on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what do you got? His nickname is Joey Bats, but Jose Bautista, he can play some serious defense as well. But I'll tell you, the arm as good as anybody's in the game. I mean, we've seen him try to throw guys out at first base. We'll see if he tries that in this one. Lays oh, off that time, and it's one and two. And I think that might have been a little bit of a purpose pitch right there up in the zone. Now I think he's going to come back down with something to try to get that strikeout. Just getting things underway here at Wrigley. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And now... Mike Fires is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, E.K.? Well, guys, you take a look at that whip. It's under 1-2, which tells me he's been pretty darn effective all year long. We'll see how he does in this one. That's yanked into the stand, strike one. Fires is ready. Here's the 0-1. And he falls behind 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And a heck of an effort over there at first, but it'll be for naught as this is a foul ball. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Eric, these Phillies as they begin play here today, despite the loss last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. And they've split the first four games on this road trip. So lately, they're in a bit of a holding pattern, but we could be ready to break out right here. Into the windup and the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Springer giving chase. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting third. Ted Williams will dig third. in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Springer. Still going back. Gone! Solo shot to right center. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Lifted the other way to left center. Calling for it, Conforto. And the inning is over. George Springer will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. George Springer. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Called strike 0-2. Yeah, I don't think you want to come in throwing a lot of high change-ups. 
That's a pitch he's going to have to get lower in the strike zone. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. And a good curveball gets him swinging for wrap number one. Settling in now, Adrian Beltre. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Adrian Beltre. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. You know, on May 15, 2015, Adrian Beltre became the 52nd player in MLB history to hit 400 home runs. He's in some pretty remarkable company. Hit on the ground to short. Right to Espinosa. Throw to first will be in time to retire Beltre, and there's out number two. Batting six. Salvador Perez will stride in now. He drove in his guy's lone run of the ball game yesterday afternoon. In there at the knees, strike one. Chop foul right at home plate. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one. Joey Votto will stand in for the first time, and he enters with that average in the stratosphere, up over 360 to begin playing. And I think it's just a little too early to get overly excited about this guy, but we all know he's very capable of keeping this up over the course of the season. Conforto is there to take this one, and the bottom of the second starts with a one-pitch out. Jose Bautista will stand in and as you can see his home and road splits there he's been a much better hitter away from home skied in the air to straightaway left Conforto is there makes the play and there are two gone now batting seven catcher Yogi Berra will stride in now a couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's ball game well Matty just continues this string of his last 10 games where he's hitting over 300 he well the left fielders on it and that retires the side nothing doing here this half we played it's a great day for baseball here in Chicago as we welcome you back to baseball on the show from Wrigley Field Brandon Phillips We'll stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. And I think he'll keep riding that pitch until these guys prove they can do something with it. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Fly ball out toward left center field. Williams is there. One out. Chris Johnson. Gets his first shot now, and he's working on a modest five-game hitting streak. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Well, you know, you hear it all the time because it's true. First pitch strikes are so important. It really changes the complexion of the at-bat for not only the pitcher, but the hitter as well, especially when you've got a good hitter up there. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Michael Conforto will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's got him looking. And that'll do it. The inning is over. Phillies down in order. They still trail one nothing. Derek Nugent will dig in now. He's got that Looking average pushing up near 350 Center to begin fielder. play. Yeah, and look at the way the rookie is lighting it up. 
Boy, he could very well be in the rookie of the year discussion with numbers like that. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Fires into his motion, looking for the strikeout here on 0 2. 0 2 is a fastball that misses inside, 1 and 2 now. Now a swing, and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. A quick out number one. Danny Espinoza will stride in now as he'll enter play as the second leading hitter in the entire National League. Well, right now he's in the prime of his career, so these are the years you'd really expect to see the best of what a guy's going to have to offer. Springer will wait on it, and yeah, that's out number two. Now batting. Jackie Robinson will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. Here's the first pitch to him. High and deep to center field. Ranging back is Maben at the track. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number 15 for him thus far. As the Cubs are out in front now, two to nothing. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. The left fielder, number nine, Ted Williams. So a solo home run right there from Chipper Jones. Number 10 for him on the year. And the Cubs have taken a 3-0 lead. Hit hard towards second. And this is knocked down over there. Now batting. A designated hitter, David Ortiz. David Ortiz is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. Not close. It's 2 and 0. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about. Now, you don't want to give this guy something where he can just roll over a ground ball and still get it into right field. Bat explodes as this has popped up. But well, you take a swing at a pitch like that, you're lucky that you only got sawed off. He's going to have to go find himself another piece of lumber. to two and two Next now two and two. the ball flying around the yard in this one as you see so far there a runner on first with two away ground ball left side Beltre has it throw on to second for the force and the side is retired so two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Cameron Mabin will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And yeah, still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really... This has been one of the few guys that's even been ahead in the count. Hard liner to center field. And the Phillies have their first hit of the ball game. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Addison Russell. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. 
Striding into the box, Edwin Encarnacion. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. In there, strike one. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Chop foul at the plate and he stays alive, still 0-2. Chop foul at the plate and we'll do it again. Neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again. Trying to strike him out for the second time. A breaking ball swung on and missed and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. George Springer is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Squared that one up just a little late. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. Nope. And he missed with it, it's 1-2. and, and two. Good change up right there, down in the strike zone. Definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on, so that's a great job to lay off. Hit hard back up the middle. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Adrian Beltre gets a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And in a spot like this, first and second with two weight, that's where he's at his toughest on the mound. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the... Joey Votto is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth, the fourth inning. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all Joey about just Votto. adding on. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. Conforto going back on it. Gone! A solo home run here off the bat of Joey Votto. 19th home run for him on the season. And with it, the Cubs have moved out in front now, four to nothing. Oh, and a big swing by Bautista, and this ball sent in the air to deep left field. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. You know, when I see Jose Bautista at the plate, with that high leg kick and plate coverage, I kind of feel sorry for the pitcher. I mean, this guy's the man up there. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Yeah, not only does Bautista hit for power, he's very disciplined up there at the plate. He's really a tough out. Yeah, he's not going to go out of his zone very often. In 2015, he walked more than he struck out. And that's something that you just don't often see from a big home run guy. Oh, and he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. Oh, and you cannot get caught making up your mind to swing before you even see where the pitch is going to be. I mean, that wasn't even close. Phillips showing off his range. The spin throw gets him at first. Nicely done for the second out. Oh, and it doesn't look like the manager fully agrees with that out call at first. It appears he may opt to challenge it and have the play reviewed. Yeah, he may, Matt. But I'm sure he's going to wait for word from the guys in the dugout. And as we see it again, man, I can't tell for sure if he indeed was out. Standing in now, Derek Nugent. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Fires sets his sights. Here it is on 0-1. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Cubs tack on another courtesy of this solo home. Salvador Perez heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Boy, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left in this game. So just chip away, chip away. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. 
Salvador Perez is a multiple gold glove winner behind the plate, including in 2015, but he can definitely do some damage with the bat as well. Now batting, second baseman, Brandon Phillips. Brandon Phillips comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And when he's finding the inside corner with that curveball, oh, he can be tough. That's a hard pitch to hang in there on. Fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. Bumgarner's ready. Here's the 0-2. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Chris Johnson stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Just got a piece up the line. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first and the side is retired. So a strong start on the mound. is Danny Espinoza comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Chop this one right side. Fielded by Encarnacion. And he'll take this to the bag. Three unassisted for the first out. Second baseman. Ready now, Jackie Robinson. He went deep in his first at bat. And we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, and he hit a changeup, so we'll see if he sees that pitch again. He didn't really crush it, but he got enough of it to get it out of here. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Perez corrals it, and he makes the throw to first. Robinson is retired, two down now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and standing in now one of the best players of the past two decades, the great Chipper Jones. Hit to short. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Three. Michael Conforto. Will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had him off balance all game. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. And that slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there at what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Cameron Maben will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Bumgarner into his motion. First pitch on the way. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. A good pitch there on 0-1 as this is hit foul over to the right side. Strike two now. Hit to third. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Addison Russell Addison will try it again. Russell. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. It's a swinging bunt up the line. In time to first, and there are two away. Edwin Encarnacion stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Yeah, and you know you've got a good changeup when you can come out and throw it first pitch just like he did right there. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to 1 and 2. Swing and a little tapper. That rolls foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. Sent on the ground out to second. Robinson takes it in. Throw goes to Votto over at first. 
Sean Gilmartin. Well, come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Number 37. Ted Williams will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. Do you even bother with anything else here? No, I sure wouldn't. As a hitter, you're thinking, look for fastball, adjust for an off-speed pitch. And so far in this at bat, he hasn't made any adjustments. David Ortiz will dig in. 0 for 2 in the ballgame. Ortiz. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Nothing in one count, here it comes. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. He dives, but he can't pull it in, and it's down the line into right. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Joey Votto comes forward now, a home run in his last at-bat. And it was a breaking ball that he hit out, and he just sat on it. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1. Well, you don't expect a guy who's having a year like this guy is having to take an ugly hack like that. To first, taken in by Encarnacion. The second for one. On to first, but not in time. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. Right fielder number 20. Jose Batista Jose. steps in with wow. one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Yeah, it's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. Skied into straightaway right. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track, and the runner will have to retreat. Yogi Berra will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Well, guys, if you split the difference between the fly ball and the grounder he's put in play, you've got a nice line drive. So maybe we'll witness that right here. Five runs, seven hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Grounded up the first baseline. And Encarnacion will take this to the bag, and the inning is over. Pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. George Springer is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One and one. Here's a guy that understands. It's all about getting on base at this point. So good idea there just to wait for strike one. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Adrian Beltre will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ballgame. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball 1-0. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And this guy's not hitting over 300 by accident. He's got a very good knowledge of the strike zone, and he knows when to lay off. The catcher, Salvador Perez stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. On, could we see another strikeout here? It's 0-2 now. And it looks like the scouting report says, work this guy away, and it's been paying off. Uh, and whoever put together that scouting report did a real nice job because this whole team hasn't done much offensively at all. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. Brandon Phillips will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Derek Nugent will come forward now. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. Derek Nugent. Tap fouled at home plate. 
Down the third baseline. Beltre is there. And he set down one away. Up next for the Cubs, Danny Espinosa nice will step left. in. A ground out Danny victim his last time. Swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt, and it's strike one. Think you'll see another one of those before this at bat's through? <laughs> After that swing, I think you can just about take oh, that to the bank. Right. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Grounded to short. Gloved by Russell. On to first, and there are two down. Up next for the Cubs. Jackie Robinson will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Chipper Jones is set to take some more swings. He homered back in the third inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember, the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Chris Johnson will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. Chris no, Johnson. he's been dominant all game long, and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on, and that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been Hello, free and easy the whole way through. Michael, Michael Conforto ready to take another shot. Went down on strikes his last time up. Yep, they sent him back in last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Williams has a beat on it. One away. Cameron Maben ready for another at-bat now. He's two for three so far. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander's begun to get loose. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Runners on first with one down. And that misses two and two. Still two and two. In the dirt here. And he is safe at second base as the decision to move up pays off, and that'll likely be scored a wild pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Line to the right side. In is Batista, but this gets down a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Addison Russell will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Now third base coach Juan Samuel's going to wave him in. And not in time as the second run scores. Edwin Encarnacion digs in now with two already home and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. Danger here is this is a guy who can make this a one-run game. And if he does, make him do it out to right field. I wouldn't give him anything he can pull. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And that's going to do it here today for Madison Bumgarner. Erasmo Ramirez 
will get the call here as he'll take over with one gun in the top of the eighth. Hot shot to third. And the runner will be tagged out at the plate, so a costly decision there. Stepping in, George Springer. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Curveball just misses, apparently. 1-0. In for a strike, it's one and one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher set to Philadelphia. take over here, and we'll see Number the right-hander Junichi Tozawa. Ted Williams strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strike. Well, that's a good thing that pitch was above the strike zone because a few inches lower, and that ball's right in his wheelhouse. Liner towards second. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. David Ortiz gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count. 0-1. This is pulled into right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The first baseman. So it's first and second now. Joey Nobody Votto. out. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Shot towards second. And that one zips on through as he was in position, but he couldn't knock it down. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner from second is in to score. Jose Batista will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. Maven is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And a relay to the plate. A tag from Perez. He's out at the plate. Yogi Berra stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. into the seats 0 and 1 0 1 here's the pitch I oh, had him reaching at thin air that time and he's very quickly down 0 and 2 softly hit toward the hole and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Adrian Beltre, and they'll need him to get something going here. And so far in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet, so we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hit hard to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The catcher, number 13. Salvador Perez will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. And he'll fall behind now to 1 and 2. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Brandon Phillips makes his way to the plate, needing to make something happen. They're down to their final out in the ninth inning. 
And he lays off there 1 0. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first will be in time to get him. And the Cubs have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Yeah, what a nice job to come in here and.